Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video on showing the OBD11 next gen device doing a scan. So I did an unboxing of the new OBD11 next generation device. So this device, as I explained in the video, it supports iOS now as well as Android. So the one device can be used for iOS and Android if you've got both, um, or you can use one or the other. The only catch is at the moment, the pro features on iOS are not supported and OBD 11 are saying that they will be released in 2020. So hopefully that's like January, 2020, February or something like that, but um, we'll see how we go. One they want, I'm assuming they want to make sure they've got it all perfect before they ship it out to everyone so that no one has any problems doing a, um, adaptations and um, long coding and short coding on their cars. So the next generation device is extremely fast. I've run a scan already and I've, I have put on um, a couple of apps, one click apps. So that's basically all you can do with it at the moment. Um, until the pro features come along in 2020. Now you can, um, if you have a OBD 11 original device, you can buy the starter pack of this version rather than the pro, which is significantly cheaper. And you can sign, if you're already signed into your account, this will just work with your pro account already on your device. So you don't need to go and buy the Pro all over again. You can just buy the starter pack is what OBD11 are saying. And they, they, the Pro pack comes with 200 credits, whereas the starter pack will come with none, but you'll have all, whatever credits you've got on your existing account to use on with the new OBD11 device. And you can use both the... If you're running Android, you can use the new device and the old device on the one phone. Um, it doesn't really matter. There's so many options you've got now, which is excellent. So we'll plug this into the OBD11 port on this Volkswagen. Turn the ignition on. And we'll hit connect. So I've already paired this via Bluetooth. So it's searching there, you've got your OBD11 device here, you've got to select that. It says connecting and it'll ask for the password, so it's just a basic password that I've made for that. It's saying the battery voltage here is a little bit low now. So it reads the control unit, which it does normally. You'll hear a few little things moving in the car here and there, but that's all normal. And especially when the scan gets done, you might hear a couple of things move like headlights and stuff like that, if you've got that on your vehicle. So once that's done, we can hit tap scan. Now, if anyone's got the old device, um, you know how long this scan used to take. So the new device is extremely fast. So let's give it a shot here. We'll run a full scan. You can see how fast that's moving along there through each module. So we'll just wait for that to do its thing. We're nearly halfway already, so that shows you how fast that is. We're up to 18 of 34. Extremely fast. So that's just chugging away still. And we're nearly there. And that's all done. So we've got zero problems found on this vehicle at the moment, which is great. Um, you can go into your apps. And this will show you all the apps that are available for your car. So what you need to do if you've got credits um, you can spend credits for these now to see if you've already got them turned on or not you can 
click on so I know I've got this one turned on this is one of the ones I activated and it'll come up here saying current value on so we can get out of that and then if you go to something I don't have activated heated seats memory current value that just says original so that's not very much help if we go back up to battery state of charge I know I don't have that activated and it'll say off so then I can click change value um, I can turn it on and it'll cost me 10 credits I have 318 at the moment that's 200 from the pro pack that I bought and um, the extra credits that you get for watching ads so I don't want to do I don't want to really put that on at the moment <clears throat> You can go into other and you can see your devices, you look up stuff, your supported vehicles and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at how fast that scan is now. So it saves a lot of time and even putting apps on and stuff, say it's much faster than the old device as well. So just really all round, it's a much faster, um, more stable device. So yeah, I hope that's helped guys. Um, cheers, thanks for watching.